In this video, I want to show you how you can maximize the use of this latest subtitle feature that was just recently added in Power BI. I'm going to show you some tips on how you can use it to show some static information, like adding some storytelling to dynamic elements, like the subtitles changing based on the context of the selections by your users. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the subtitles feature is, uh, I would say, is a relatively small addition to the latest Power BI updates. And I was really excited about this uh, just because I am a fan of the IBCS standards and being able to add subtitles to my visuals adds a lot of kind of ways for me to visualize and add some storytelling elements in my reports while kind of complying with the standards that's set by the IBCS. So in the past, it was a little bit janky to add new lines or create subtitles uh, within your titles, especially if you wanted to have kind of different formatting options within them. But with this new update, I don't really need to rely on those anymore. It's just natively available in Power BI. So let me show you. So here we have a Power BI report and um, it's a pretty simple bar chart here that I've added. Um, it just kind of creates a total of the total sales uh, based on category. If you click on, on this and uh, let's say, let's just bring up the, uh, the format option here. And if you're confused what this view is, this is on object uh, interaction that I've enabled. I have a video in not so long ago covering how this all works. Um, but here in the format pane, what you'll notice um, if you look for the title, you have now this new option option subtitle, which if you enable, it will be adding a subtitle, which is a different element below your title. So you can add things like uh, by category. And that's a pretty simple way of using subtitles. So it can give you additional way to add context to your visual. So the first way that you could probably use uh, subtitles is by way of storytelling. So here you can see, for example, if you want to give a story on what this visual is meant to represent or what it should show, you can see that instead of saying by category, which we already know, you can add a bit of storytelling from your side, which will help your users kind of understand what they're looking at and, you know, guide them on how how to view this visual. The next is about visuals uh, by themselves. So because the subtitle option is part of the visual container, you can add subtitles on basically any visual that you can add in your report. So here, for example, as you can see, we have a card visual here, which shows the total sales for our data sets. And what you can see here is that we have both the title and the subtitle within this uh, card visual, and it's not the bar chart. As you can see, we have utilized the subtitle here to compare as a comparator to the actual value that we have. So for example, if you have your total sales here as the card, you might want to see, you know, uh, and see that value against your current targets, um, which can be static or dynamic based on your requirements. As you notice as well, we have this little green icon, which um, we added using the emoji kind of board. It's pretty easy to, to add in Power BI. If you don't know, it's basically just uh, windows dots, which will open up the board and it will let you choose what emoji you want to add on your subtitles. If you wanted to see how that works, if you go subtitles here, you can see I just added that, uh, that green, green dot. But if I click uh, window dot, it will open up this board and you can add whatever you want in this subtitle. So fairly easy. Another way to use the subtitles is to explain sort of information to your users, either giving them some help on how to interact or giving them some information or some instructions on what to do. So here, for example, we have the same bar chart, but instead of creating some story here, we give some information on what they can do within this bar chart. So for example, we added this ability to when you hover over these bar charts, it will give you a percentage. If the users didn't know that that's available, they probably just find it by accident or you you can add it as part of your subtitle so that they can see or they know for sure that if they hover over it, they will get this percentage total, which is probably what they would be interested in. Apart from that, there are a lot of kind of different formatting options available for you with the subtitles. But another interesting one that I found is that within the subtitles, if you didn't want it aligned to the left with the title, you can have it aligned to the right instead. 
So something like this. So if you wanted to give some information, but not as part of the title, you can kind of shove it to the right, um, which is kind of a visual option for you. As you can see, there are lots of different use cases that the subtitles uh, feature allow you to do, and they're all pretty exciting. But what I'm more interested in is the fact that you can make this uh, dynamic in more ways than one. So let's have a look at some examples of how you can use it in a sort of more dynamic context. So the first way that you can use subtitles is by, let's say, showing the filters applied within your reports. Now, I did cover this in a previous video already as part of your report, like uh, wherever you want to put it uh, as a kind of text. But um, with this, you can have your filters applied as part of your subtitles so that every time your users look at your visual, they know exactly what is being filtered with. So here, for example, we have the line charts here of our total sales by months. And if you select a category, it will change those uh, selections or, or, or that line chart based on the category that you've selected. Now, if we want to create a dynamic element here on our by month, instead of by month, we want to show what category is being selected, we can simply create a DAX uh, to replace that. So we're going to create a new measure here and I'm going to name this one uh, selected category and I'm going to use this function selected value and then we're going to choose category name here. Pretty easy. And now we're going to go to the subtitle which uh, is down here. And you'll see this little FX conditional formatting option next to the text. So instead of writing it manually here, we can simply say, change this value based on a certain measure. So um, let's look for our measure, wherever I put it, selected category. If you hit okay, so now it doesn't really show anything because we haven't got anything selected. But if we select beverages, there we go. So you can see as we make that selection, the dynamic element within the subtitle also changes. So that's a good way to use dynamic subtitles. Another way is to show and level up this target that we have showing as a card. So here, for example, um, let's say we have this, this selection to choose categories, um, which changes the, the values of total sales based on that category. But what we want to do is what we want to show a different color here or different emoji based on how far the total sales is to the target itself. So we want this, uh, let's say for example, if the total sales is above 150,000, we want to show as green, otherwise we want to show as red. So that again is pretty simple. So I'm gonna click new measure here. I'm gonna name this one target subtitle and I'm going to create an if statement here and I'm going to say if the uh, sales sum of sales is greater than 150,000 like this we want to show a uh, green otherwise red so in this middle part we're going to click windows dot I'm going to look for green click green and then within here we're going to select Windows dot again, look for red, and then select red like this. That's it. So let's hit enter and then go back to the subtitle here. Let's look for the subtitle again, change the text based on a field value. Let's look for it. Target subtitle. If you hit OK, there we go. You make the change. You make a selection here. As you can see, if it's below this 150K, it will change it to red or if not, then it will be green. So pretty easy. The next thing is if you wanted to change the colors of your subtitles based on your selection. So using the same logic, for example, um, and at the moment we're only using it to change the value of your subtitle, but uh, you can also change its conditional formatting, how it's colored through a field value as well. So let me show you. So here, um, what we've done is, let's have a look at the data here. Let's look at the target subtitle. And uh, I'm gonna just add an extra line here just so that we can see, we can add a bit of context here. Total target like this. So it will just add that target bit there. Um, and I just wanted to change this color into a green or red based on whatever the selection is. So what we'll do is we will copy this uh, logic because it's basically the same logic. I'm gonna create a new measure here. And I'm going to say uh, target color. 
and then we're gonna paste the same logic. And now instead of emojis here, we'll just replace it to the names green and red. So this is what will set what the font color is for our uh, subtitle. So now that we've set that up, we can simply go back to the subtitle and under text color, you can see here, we can select FX again. And here we will choose field value, look for target color like this and hit OK. So now, as you can see, it's not very obvious, but let me just make it bold. As I make a selection here, the color of this subtitle changes. So it's a good way to use if you want to call out um, sort of KPIs, if it's doing good or bad, and using colors is an effective way to do so. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with the different ways that you can utilize this new subtitle feature in Power BI. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really liked this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.